In this video, we're checking out Linksy, an AI-powered internal link builder. If you've been around SEO for any amount of time, you know internal linking is very, very important for SEO, and this tool makes it quite a bit easier. It's on AppSumo currently. If we click on the plan deals, we see that all the tiers provide all the same functionality. All you get is more sites on higher tiers. And before we hop into the website, if you want to follow along on your own site, click the link in the description down below to get to this page. It is an affiliate link. So if you end up buying through that, I do get credit from AppSumo for that. It does not make it more expensive for you. AppSumo just shares some of the money with me as commission so I can keep making these videos for you for free. So once you have Linksy installed on your site, it takes quite a while for it to go through all your site and crunch all the data. But you have a menu item over here. If you go to dashboard, it gives you an overview of everything. This site has 61 posts, which isn't that many, and it took about an hour for it to crunch all the data. And this is an overview of the data right here. Also, out of interest sake, I've been using a different internal linker for years called Link Whisper. It's currently not AI powered. I don't know if they're going to incorporate that. It's more of a NLP kind of situation with Link Whisper, but it's worked really well for me. And if you want to compare how Linksy works versus Link Whisper, I'll link a video to my walkthrough of Link Whisper. It's in the card up above and the description down below. They're both great tools and they have different price points. So make sure you pick the one that you think works for you after watching both of these videos. So on the dashboard here, it gives us some general information. You can't click into any of these options here. You can't click into any of these, but it shows you the top linking domains. This is an affiliate site, at least that's part of the way it makes money. So linking to Amazon is the most common, understandable. Uh, seven pages have 40 links to Amazon. The pages with multiple links would be something like the best RV roof cleaner. And there might be four different options, depending on what kind of RV roof you have. So if you click on see all, you can see all of the domains you link to the most. If you click on here, it shows you which pages those links are on. Each one of these gray cards is one page on the website. It shows all the links. That's the anchor text. There's a little anchor there to denote that. And this is the actual link. You can click on that to go and see the link. You can go through all your links like that. And that's great. But that's not the magic of Linksy. Let's go back to the dashboard. The first magical thing I'm going to show you in the link stats area. Go to see all and click on orphaned. This shows you pages on your site that you have not linked to from your site. Those are hard for Google to find. And if Google does find them, Google's gonna wonder, why haven't you even linked to this page? It must be not valuable enough for you to link to. You link to other pages, you don't link to these ones. Maybe they're not that great, because even you yourself don't link to them. Being able to find orphan pages easily is a great feature. And then we can easily add inbound links to them as well. I'll show you that in just a minute. First, I want to go over the last thing on the dashboard. That's the keyword rating. This pulls in ratings from SEO plugins that you have. I currently have Rank Math SEO installed. You may have that one or Yoast SEO or All-in-One SEO. I'm not sure which ones Linksy integrates with, but I know it pulls the data from those plugins. If you click on See All, we see our keyword score. This is basically the optimization that these pages have. And you want to be in the green. These blue ones want to try to improve those. And it gives you a breakdown of all the different ranking levels. One is poor. That's not a great one. That one needs some work. But overall, not bad for the optimization. But if you can, try to get these all into the great. So if we go to reports now on the left, this takes us to the same place that we saw a moment ago where we see all the links. If we go to domain reports tab over here, we see the report that shows you the outbound links that we're linking to from our website. So let's click back into orphaned. Let's do this one. Should I disconnect my RV battery when plugged in? Click on link in. This will allow us to add inbound links to this post, which currently has none. It's currently orphaned. Here we have the down arrow meaning inbound zero, up arrow is outbound zero, or sorry, two. Can't even see that number. This is outbound links on our same website, two, and this is outbound links that exit our website, external links, there's one. So we have 31 suggestions, 15 are good, 16 are average, and that is the it's not the optimization necessarily. It's, it's the quality of the relatedness of the groups. You want to try to link to other pages that are as related as possible. At the end of the day, the, I mean, this is important. You want to try to get great link suggestions if you can. But even good and average is fine. Poor, maybe don't link to those. And those are denoted by these numbers here. 
And these are not the keyword ratings we saw earlier. This is the quality of the link, specifically the anchor text. So for example, this one's 47, and the anchor text is safety during your RV adventures. Linksy thinks you can link out from that, but it's not great, because it's only average. If we go look at the good, remember this post is, should I disconnect my RV battery when plugged in? So the ones that are good, this one has battery in the anchor text, charge your RV battery. So that qualifies as a good link according to Linksy, and I have to agree. Power the RV batteries. Operate on RV batteries. RV's battery, power your RV. These are all very related anchor texts, and that's why they get a good rating. So if you want to add one of these, you can click on these three dots and then view to view the post, edit to edit the post. Click on this down arrow to see other link suggestions. So we have in this post, one, two, three, four, five suggestions that Linksy gives us to link back to the post that we're working on. And I think this one appears just fine. So we're just gonna check that box. And then I wanna link from here, and then I'll link from here, then I'll link from here, and I'm gonna to go to apply. And now we're gonna have four inbound links. It's that easy. I've done a lot of talking here, so it's taking a little bit longer, but now we have four inbound links that come to this page, which is A, a signal to Google that this page is important, and B, it can increase users' time on page because they might find one of these links relevant to what they wanna learn, and then they will go to that page through the internal links. Auto-linking is a feature that I will probably never use. It basically lets you define words for auto-links. If you click on auto-link in the corner here, you have a keyword like RV battery. Let's just pretend this is the one we want for the target. It's not, but let's pretend it is. Get the URL from there, paste it in there. And then every time that RV battery appears on any page, it will link to this URL. You can have it set to only one link per post. You can add the link if a post already has the link. So that'd be more than one link per post. You can also have the app ask for approval before it inserts the link. You can choose posts or pages. You can choose which category this works on. You can choose publication dates and stop dates of using this link as a campaign in this way. And that's all there is to it. It'll auto link all around your site. I prefer not to do this. I prefer to do it manually, but this is an option inside of Linksy. And then we have the anchors cloud area. This shows you all the anchor text on your website. So for example, this one is your next adventure and it links to 10 RV trips to plan right now. And it doesn't like that anchor text, it gives it a 27, it thinks you can do better. And this is the source. So it's linking from this page to this page. How RVs are classified, it's linking from seven luxury RVs to five types of RVs. You get the idea. It shows all the links on your site and then their relative strength according to Linksy's AI. So you can go through and fix any links you wanna fix through here. Fixing ones that are in the red are good ones to fix. The keywords rating area shows you a breakdown of all the pages. We saw a little card on the dashboard. This shows you all the pages on your site and their ratings. It pulls in the keyword from Rank Math SEO or Yoast SEO or what have you, and it has the keyword here. This one has two keywords to find, and so it has two. And it's basically ranking this website to the keyword you have entered in your SEO plugin. You can also add custom keywords if you want to use a different one. That's not from the plugin. And then it'll check what it thinks the quality is of this post relative to that keyword. In the playground, we can search for RV battery, for example, any keyword, and it pulls up the posts that it thinks are most optimized for that. So RV batteries and RV battery here, get the top ranking. Part of it, of course, is the title. The title is a very strong SEO metric. So those batteries are very tightly related and those always also get the highest rankings. So I'm sure it does more than that, but that definitely is something that's doing. You can also have versus. Let's type in RV root cleaner. That's a weird comparison, but you can compare two keywords to each other and see what they're each ranking for. You wanted to do two related ones like RV battery and RV batteries maybe. I imagine those will pull in pretty much the same things. 
you can see there's a different number. So how well is this post optimized for the RV battery keywords, the 58? And how well is the exact same post optimized for RV batteries as a keyword, is a 60? Has the exact match, so it's a higher rating for that. So here you can go through and improve your SEO in that regard. They don't give any more suggestions than this, so something like Neuron Writer would definitely be more helpful, but this is something. So those are all the major areas inside the Linksy side menu, aside from settings. We'll check those out in a minute. First, let's go to a post like this one right here. And if we go down the sidebar, we see a Linksy tab. Here, we can add internal links directly on posts when we're editing posts. So this first one here, RV vehicles, it wants to do some linking in regards to that. If I push that double down arrow, it shows what pages it thinks we should link to. You can check the boxes for the page you want to link to. Click on the down arrow again. It shows you specifically the passage in the, the post over here that this is referring to. I would like it if you click here, it takes you to that passage, but it doesn't. So I'm going to search for some RV vehicles. So it's right here. So it wants to add a link right here. And the link it adds, or the link, the page it links to, you can choose from this list. You can also add a custom URL. You can also ignore the keyword. Maybe you don't want to link out from this keyword anymore or this anchor text. And you can go through and add a whole whack ton of links, as you can see. These are all, each one of these cards is a different link that Linksy is suggesting for this post. If Linksy helps you with your internal linking, that's the whole goal of the plugin. And that's really all it's about. So everything we've seen so far, that's the main core functionality of the plugin. We also have settings that fine tune our internal linking work. And there aren't too many settings, so I'll go through them really quick. Or actually, you can pause the video and read them. I will highlight the ones that I think are really important. So post types to sync. Personally, I would only do posts because I don't really want to interlink between my pages on, on this website anyway, because the pages are things like terms of use, privacy policy, return policy, things like that, that I don't want internal links on. So I'd keep this to just posts. The number of words to skip, I would skip 100, do the maximum. These are the first 100 words on a post that it's gonna skip. Because if you don't do this, it can potentially add links to archive pages. And by that, I mean, let's go to the website. If you don't have this word count set high enough, you could potentially have links showing up right here. So RV toilet could be linked in this excerpt. Something to think about, it matters to me, might not matter to you. Maximum outbound links per post, I'd set that to 10 at the most, maybe 15. This would be things like links to Amazon or other resources online. You don't want to link out to too many, but you also do want to link out to some. And the max inbound links per post, going to have no limit on that. This is basically links from your pages on your website linking to a page on your website. So if it's a really, really important page, why do I want to limit the number of links going to it? So I'd, I'd leave that as no limit. Two-way linking is when you have post A linked to post B, and then post B links back to post A. So it goes in a loop. That usually confuses search engine crawlers because it is going to loop and then exit your site. So usually this is best to keep off and by default it is off. Don't resuggest links. So if you post, if you link to a certain post in your site, that post is not gonna be resuggested for the post you linked from. Are you picking up what I'm laying down? I think you are. Don't suggest links to old posts or posts older than. I'm just gonna keep no limit because it's evergreen content. So we should be able to post to older posts as well. If you don't do evergreen content, you might wanna have this limited to a certain time frame. Update post modified. So this is something that can show up at the top of a post. We have here the created on date. You also have, may have an automated, or sorry, um, an updated date, which you can have automatic if you want. I actually have a tutorial for that showing you how to automatically have the update date show up in your metadata, which makes your life a whole lot easier if you're doing a lot of updates to your site. I'll link to that in the carp above in the description down below. It takes a little bit of code, but I walk you through it in the tutorial. Shouldn't be a problem. Open internal link to a new tab. No, I don't want to do that. I open external links, links to Amazon, Wikipedia, offsite places in new tabs, but not internally. Add destination post title to links. This is something I used to do for SEO, but it's not something I've been doing recently. But basically you hover over a link and it will have a little title 
box pop up that shows you where the link is going. I don't turn that on anymore and, and they also don't recommend this. Ignore rules, categories to be ignored for suggestions. So you have a specific category, like maybe uncategorized that you don't want suggestions from, put it in there. Posts to be ignored. For whatever reason, if you don't want to have the RV battery post suggested, you can have that ignored and it'll never show up as link suggestion. I'm going to undo that, remove from list. You can ignore image URLs. This is on by default, so you're not internal linking to images. Show ignored posts in reports. This allows you to get link data from ignored posts, but it's not gonna show those posts in link suggestions. So toggle those however you need to. Click on save settings to save any changes you made. Post settings, if you search a post, like RV battery, my favorite search today, and you click on it, you can, you have two options. So these are the options that we see in general settings as well, but this allows you to have them be post specific. If for whatever reason there's specific posts where you don't want these things happening, you can toggle them on just for specific posts. And licensing is pretty self-explanatory, just has the serial number that you use to activate it. If you want to check out Linksy, head over to AppSumo, click the link in the description down below. If you end up buying through AppSumo, I do get a credit for that. It does not make it more expensive for you, just makes it so AppSumo shares some of the income with me and I really appreciate it. Helps me keep making these videos for free. And next up, check out this video right here, which is about Link Whisper, the other link internal linking software that I mentioned earlier. It's a great plugin, make sure you check that out too. And then check out my Neuron Writer video right down here. That's gonna help you take your SEO optimization through the roof. So make sure you check out that walkthrough. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn from Limitless LTDs. Till next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.